Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope today. This video is brought to you by you. One of you viewers has submitted some questions for me to ask Fred Rogers. So we are going to be having a conversation with Mr. Rogers from the afterlife, courtesy of you and your questions. If you want to know how to submit a request for a channeling where you choose the channel, go ahead and check out the description in this video. There is a link to another video where you can submit the information. Okay. All right. So let's have a conversation with Mr. Rogers. Come on in. It is such, I, you guys are just like literally want to stand up and shake his hand. I have such fond, wonderful memories of watching Mr. Rogers neighborhood at like 12 o'clock noon time in my parents bedroom on the floor leaning up against the bed watching on the television right before i had to get ready to go to kindergarten back in those olden days i did the afternoon kindergarten it was half day you know and so before i left to walk to school i got to watch mr rogers neighborhood so i love <laughs> loved the pbs show that you were just you're such an icon so thank you so much and i recognize too that you've been involved in so many other things and just such a trailblazer in in, in children and child development and, and just just gosh so much so now that i'm gushing <laughs> he says oh that's quite all right you know he says i can't really take the credit for all that he says, I believe that a person does the best that they can do. And in doing the best that you can do, that's how you can make a difference. He says, it's, it's simple, really. It's just a natural thing. It's just as easy as breathing. And you can make it something more than that and see some of us who, who you look to for um, what you would call inspiration we are all uh, just people we're all just people and we all have a choice as to how we're gonna going to live our lives and i believe that we just do the best that we can that's that's what's asked of us he does not disappoint oh my goodness thank you mr rogers all right I mean, I know you said, he just literally said, call me Fred. Uh, it's hard to do that. <laughs> it's hard to do that. Um, but I'll try. Thank you. All right. So we have some questions from a viewer from Maryland and they use their YouTube handle. So I'm not really sure, like I don't have their name. So he kind of smiles at it. He kind of chuckles at that. And um, she says, I think it's, a, well, I don't even know. There's no gender here. So um let's see there's nobody there's nobody more inspirational than fred rogers is what this viewer says and here are the questions i'm gonna make it real big so i can read it you guys <laughs> i got my laptop right here it's uh let's see um okay so here's your first question are you ready yes yes he says give it a go um do you feel like you really made a lasting difference in the world or was it just only temporary? Hmm. Says, I think I think everyone starts with an idea or a wish to make a contribution to do something that that is meaningful. And I feel as though for me, I was in the right place at the right time. And I had the opportunity with many things lining up. There were lots and lo there were lots of good people. He says many good people involved in in the creation of our, of our show, and I recognized pretty early on that it was a platform to help with understanding and to bridge some of the gaps between people. And like he's literally showing me building bridges, which I, this is such, that's such a sweet visual. I'm clairvoyant, so I see the imagery too when they share the messages. And I see building bridges. 
he's literally showing me like black and white photography and film and moving into an era of color where things are more obvious is what he's showing me. And so he's showing me there is a time where you, you recognize, he says, there's a time when, when it becomes, it became obvious that I had, I was in a place, a position to maybe share some things that bring reality, bring what, what is real in form of a struggle and to offer some understanding. And, you know, you know, he says, you know, children aren't just the only people that watched the Mr. Rogers Neighborhood show. It wasn't just children. It, it was adults, too. You know, their parents, their, their grandparents, their, their caregivers. And so many were part of the audience. So that when you share something so simple and so basic like like kindness and you talk about kindness and you show it through through a story and and children can really understand that and, and in that way you're planting the seeds for a healthier future so the 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 way is to take in those opportunities that you're given that are right in front of you and make the most of them. And don't overcomplicating things, I think it's it's part of the challenge now that is that is difficult to to move past and look through the the layers of ways to communicate has has expanded and and that's a good thing that that's good, but it creates a, a lot of variables, a, a lot of varied audiences. And maybe that's better. I don't know. For me, and at the time that we were creating the shows that we shared, some of them had a deeper meaning. Yes, yes, yes. And, and that was intentional, yes. But when you boil it down to simple concepts that children can understand, getting along with each other on the playground, sharing with each other, in, in school, uh, waiting your turn at, at um, lunch or, or being a, utilizing good sportsmanship in, in, a, in, a, in a, a basketball game. You, you can see that all of these things apply to all of us, to, to everyone. And when you can take these simple things and apply them to society and remind adults too that the differences are things that are opportunities for us to learn and to 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 be more connected to one another and and that that benefits everyone is to have a, a a bridge of understanding and so so in our small way we did that with the show and 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 to be real real upfront about this it wasn't just me i can't just say it was me I am passionate about many things and helping to, in some way, to make the world better by, by helping children and through the children, the parents, the adults, the, the others in their lives to become better people is something that is a worthy goal that's a worthwhile that's a worthwhile project it's a worthwhile effort okay so it sounds like you talk you're talking kind of a little bit about legacy or um that making the change in the world that perhaps maybe some of the people that are the change makers in the world today that are the change makers like the positive change makers the ones that are for the humanitarian values and compassion and kindness and things that some of those people like my generation are the little kids that watched you 
And even when I had my own children, they watched you too. So there was so much cultivated and seeds that were planted and continued. So I would say that the change that you made did make a lasting difference. And he's very humble. I'm going to share that. He's very humble. And so I, I don't know that he's going to, you know, he's like, it's kind of like that's up to us. Like he just shared the stories. He just um, brought the information forward and and stepped into the opportunities, the invitations and things that he was given. And so that's how it feels, you guys, okay? He's very, very humble, I'm gonna say that. All right, so number two, do you think that movies being made about you, which I haven't even seen, I haven't seen the movie about you. Have you guys, if you have, comment below. Was it good, was it not good, what do you think? Put comment below. Do you think the movies that were made about you in the last couple of years are reminding us to be kind. He says, well, I think that's a part of a, a common desire, don't you think? It seems to me that the world always seems to be asking us to be kinder. Doesn't that seem like a, a reoccurring message? A reoccurring theme? Yes, yes. I can't say that it was me in particular or that the directors, the producers, the, the, the many people involved in those kinds of projects, I, I can't say what their motivation was. I can hope that it was to um, remind us of the good in people and encourage that, but I, I can't say for sure. Yeah, kindness tends to be a theme. And I didn't read these questions before we started doing our channel. I just opened it up and made it really big so I could see it. So I don't have my specs on, my glasses on. <laughs> so, okay. So, next question, Mr. Fred Rogers. Um, you never wanted to be called a saint because you thought everyone could reach that level, is what she's, this person's saying. But do you still believe that now? I'm not quite sure. It kind of feels like, I feel like the viewer here maybe is asking about all the good that you did for us, for the world, for humanity, that some people may have put you on a pedestal and, and that your response was, no, 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 everybody, everybody does this. I'm, you know, I'm the same as everybody as long as you do your best, which is what you kind of said in the first question. But do you still feel that way now? Do you still feel that way now? He says, there's, really, there's not a grading system. He says, um, the spirit of who you are is who you are. And uh, it is up to you to listen to that and to, to step into what you're, you're capable or able to do in your life. That, that's, that's up to you. And I don't feel like comparison or competition, those two things are not something that, that we deal with in, in the afterlife in spirit. That's not a spirit um, component to existence, whether you're in, in, in a human life at the time or whether you're not in a human life and just reflecting as we are now, it's not, it's not clear cut and it's not a, a level of advancement that you achieve or it's not something you strive for. Um, I, there's an opportunity for help and assistance and and in that way I'm glad to help but there's not a, a title <laughs> there's not there's not there's not um, in particular a title that I would say that I have or I have earned or or that others have or have earned either I, I, that's that's really much more of a, a need for um, uh, um, the mind's understanding of things but I appreciate the way the question was asked and and, and thank you for the the compliment all right so here's another question for you. If you could come back to do something, oh, to do, to do some more episodes of Neighborhood, 
What issues would you talk about now? So, so, oh, I think the same kinds of issues that we've talked about before. And just maybe going about it a different, a bit different way. You know, it would take some, some doing to, to reach some of the, the um, young people who are so into the technologies of the, the cellular phones and the, and the um, social medias. And there are different ways that I think we could, if we were to do the show now, to, to reach more, more people. That's something that I would embrace and uh, hire some really good, good people to be able to help to do that. To bring, to bring more of an awareness and to reach more people. Oh, oh, Mr. Rogers, you have reached many people, multiple generations of people. I think um, in part, this question's really curious. I think it's really curious about things like, like um, what would you touch on? You know, environmental issues, politics. Um, oh boy, that's, that's a touchy one too, isn't it? Um, um, war or um, um, homelessness or, or foster care or like what, what would you talk about? What would you, what, are there any kind of issues that you see us here today now in 2020 when this video is being recorded that, that might benefit from a neighborhood episode? And, and then we would all be required to watch, of course. <laughs> he got, <laughs> he's laughing, he's saying, patience. The simple um, virtue of patience is something that seems rather out of reach and that we're pretty much, um, as, as society, pretty much out of touch with. That, that would be something that, that we could talk about that could help in all of these areas that you're, you're, you're um, mentioning. It's not about the topic. It's about the underlying thing that can create the emotion that can touch the heart, that can create the difference. And that is an individual thing. And it has, it's something that you are, that's felt. And so it's not a specific topic thing, it's, it's a, more of a, a feeling that creates understanding. So even if you deal with um, issues that are, are pressing, such as you know, racism or foster care, and or divorce or things like that or different types of family structures the underlying feeling that you are reaching for is one of acceptance and it's more than kindness it's really an acceptance and in, in the the purest form an understanding so now for topics i would say patience there's also, you guys, he's also showing me an image of like a body awareness, body consciousness, um, like believing in yourselves, believing in yourself, um, healthy eating and um, ways that we manage our emotions and things like that he would, that they would talk about that. Would you talk about like mental illness or mental health? He said, we have, we have talked about that in a way that fosters, um, behaviors that that create a uh, uh, a structure for um, young people to to think about things and think about the world and the way things are connected so they don't take things personally that are not about them personally and, and even just to allow that kind of a, a structure to give them a way to think about things that that it's hard to think about and you you have to understand that there's a lot of different ages that watched the program and that would watch the program now. And so I think there's more opportunities there also um, for bringing things together, for bringing people together. And the two core, you guys, feels like understanding and acceptance. But then he also talks about patience and of course kindness is a strong one, but he says patience, that would be the, that would be the next episode. It would be about patience. Mm. So maybe we should stream that on Above Life channel from the afterlife. <laughs> he says, it's good work that you do, Bridget. It's good work. Yeah, that we do. That we do. The viewers here are feeling the energy, Mr. Rogers, that kindness energy. Do you guys feel that? That kindness, that heart energy. Yeah, I mean, it's inspiring. It really is inspiring. All right. One more question. One more question. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. 
Is there anything that you taught us as kids that you know now to maybe be not very accurate or something that you may have taught us differently? Hmm. That's a very good question. I think it's important to know that in time, we all have changes. We all learn new things. And when there's new information that is shared, you, you learn from it. Just because we're adults and I'm, I'm an adult in my adulthood doesn't make me more, um, doesn't make me immune to growing or learning. I think it's important. Lifelong learner, you guys, that's the, the, the phrase I get, the title, lifelong learner with Mr. Fred Rogers. There's not one thing in particular. I think there should have been more when the opportunity was there to allow some social issue type stories to come more into the... Well, you have to understand that the time, and you're governed by many things when you're on television. And, and luckily, when you're on public television, you do have some more, some, you have more leeway. And at the same time, you, you have to really weigh the variables of things. When, when, when you're just on the edge of changing something like a, a, a thought pattern or a belief systems and things, especially with some of the, the topics that you mentioned, there are things that you have to approach from a human perspective, not from the perspective of the topic, like that the topic would seem to dictate. Uh, naturally, for example, like politics. And if there is an example like uh, losing a, he guys, he makes me feel like losing a president or like an assassination or something or a major, like, I don't know if they would have, if he would have been in his show during that time, like when Kennedy was assassinated or after it, it feels like there's a, a it feels like what I'm kind of seeing is like a show that talks about grief and loss. Like it, could, it would have had to have been a major event like the Kennedy assassination or like 9-11 where um, he would do episodes or shows or there's shows, a show around this and around like healing or the grief process. It feels like that. Like there's a grief one or one about grief and loss and that there's a healing process. So I don't know if it's a major thing like a historic thing like Kennedy assassination or 9-11 or something really big like that. Or if it's, there was an episode where somebody died or they lost somebody that they loved and they talked about it. And there was a storyline about it. There must have been because that's what he's making me feel. And he says, just because I'm gone, doesn't mean the only way to connect with this kind of thing that you want to connect with through through the program it's not just me it's you it's you you are part of the legacy you are part of the carrying on of the ability to make change just by being you just by because of who you are and it really is not complicated it really is that simple it really is the world is filled with good people. It truly is. And perhaps you watching this are one of those people. There's no doubt in my mind that you will get through, move through, you will be aware of your goodness, your tendency to spread kindness, understanding, and perhaps with patience, there will be acceptance. You guys are such a, like he talks, then he kind of pauses, then he talks, then he pauses. Mr. Rogers, this has been so awesome. Thank you to our friend from Maryland the state of Maryland in the United States. Um, the screen name is Spot PZ. <laughs> That's what it says, you guys, so okay. All right, 
Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this uh, session with Mr. Fred Rogers in the afterlife has inspired your spirit and filled you with hope. Remember the purpose of the Above Life channel is to do just that, inspire you, fill you with hope, and to encourage you to live your life. Because it's your life after all, so live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.